What's up guys? Wakey here as usual. Bringing you a little cooking video today. Making, showing you how to make some homemade crab wontons, uh, crab rangoon, whatever you'd want to call it. Uh, I got this recipe from a uh, local person here. Basically just cream cheese and crab meat. We're just showing you, I'm just showing you how I make it. Comes out pretty good. I enjoy fresh seafood. Seems like whenever I go to a Chinese restaurant, it's hard to find fresh. I mean, obviously they use a lot of frozen stuff. But we got a, uh, we get good fresh crab meat around here. And just going to show you my little recipe. Try it out at home. Easy in a fry, to make in a fry later. You don't need a fry later necessarily, but try it out. Let me know what you think. Saves you some money. Make sure you get fresh main crab meat. Okay, guys. As you can see, we got our ingredients here. Uh, got a half pound of crab meat. Uh, block of cream cheese here. I like using third less of that kind because I end up eating about every one of these stinking things. Uh, got some wonton wraps. Um, find these next to the tofu in your aisle. There's instructions on how to wrap them. Today I'm trying out a little Old Bay in it. I don't know. I'm going to do about half and half with them. Try it out. Some onion powder and some Worcestershire sauce. So, real simple recipe here, guys. Need a bowl. Mix it all up in. Let's get it mixed up. Mmm. Okay, guys. Got our crab meat all blended with our cream cheese. All I do here is add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Uh, say probably four tablespoons or so. Couple, three, four tablespoons. Throw a little of that in there. And you can add whatever you want to in here, really. Put garlic salt. Like do a little bit of maybe a tablespoon, teaspoon of uh, onion powder here. Today I'm trying out the old bay. Can't go wrong usually, so. I'm gonna put a dab of that in there. And continue mixing. Okay guys, we got that all mixed together. I just about eat that bowl right now because it looks so delicious. Yeah, I imagine right here guys, I mean, I'm making this with crab meat. I'm sure you can make it with shredded chicken. You know, shredded lobster. Uh, pretty much whatever you wanted to. You could probably even do some beef if you wanted to. Pork. Whatever you felt like mixing in, you could uh, substitute any of the meat, but... We're getting good fresh crab meat, so that's what we're going to use. Now the fun part, neatly wrapping, the, wrapping it up in the wontons here. Got a fry later all set up, preheating to anywhere between 3 and 320. Like I said, if you don't have a fry later, you can just heat oil up on a, in a pan and do them that way. This is a little bit more convenient and accurate way of doing it. When you're wrapping your wontons, guys, like I said, there's directions on the back of the package of wontons to actually show you how to wrap it. There's a million ways to do it. Well, I don't know about a million, but there's probably at least 20 different ways to do it. But you need a little bit of water so you can get your ends to stick together. Take your wonton. Take a dab of your crab meat. This is an important part right here, guys. You don't want to, like, overfill it because then they won't close properly and then you get your crab meat or your, your inside of your wonton coming apart there. What I do is put a little bit of water on there, go along the edges, fold her over, boom. Got your crab wonton, just like that, sealed and ready to go. Now you can go like this with them. You can squeeze them back so they 
they kind of you can you know decorate them up a little bit freak around with them do one of these numbers and I just set set them directly into my pan right now just to keep them up out of the way put them in there now the way I like to do them is just simply fold the whole thing up so you get a ball then take your water after the fact just kinda put a little water along the top of it so it seals it from the top like that so you get a little ball okay, there's just another way of doing it like I said there's a number of different ways to do it to each his own <clears throat> okay we got every wonton made guys there's about 25 totals what you'll get out of this I'm gonna pop these down the fry baby fry later here watch them sizzle I'll sit back and have a little brandy drink real quick. These take about, oh, you leave them in there for three, four, five minutes or something. You take them out and give them a little shake every now and then. Like I said, about 320 is what I got these set on. Don't take very long to cook at all. While we're waiting for our rain, our crab wontons to cook. Have a little shot of coffee brandy. Oh. Ain't them things smelling good right now. Another thing, guys, about whatever sauce you get, I get this stuff here. World Harbors. Maui Mountain, sweet and sour. I don't know if you guys get this stuff around wherever you are. I'm in Maine. Probably nationwide, I don't know. I haven't been to a convenience star store in Arkansas lately. One thing I know that you guys don't have is this. We'll take a little bump here real quick. Let them babies simmer up a little more. Always good. You know, you can see guys, some of them are starting to come apart a little bit. And that's one of the pisses about when you make this stuff. You try to overpack them. You can't try to overpack them. You just got to probably actually get about 30 out of that recipe, but I get 25, and I gotta clean out my fry later afterwards, because I get crab meat going through there. Man, I don't care where you're from, you can't beat that right there with a rubber hose. Man, you put that plate out on a football game, uh, even any party or anything, Tell you what, those aren't going to hang around very long. Those are some good. I don't want to add up the price and tell you how much I got into each one of them, but I guess that depends on how much you pay for crab meat or whatever else you fill into them, but boy, them are some good. Mmm. Ain't them some good. Like I said, that's why I use the third less fat on the cream cheese. Right now, I can sit down and eat this whole entire plate. They go down a lot better with a nice cold drink, Bill. Till next time. You guys try that recipe out. Let me know what you think. Take care, guys.